Welcome to Midlife Mood Taste Test. We're officially in February. Nighttime edition. <laughs> I got my nice Valentine's shirt on. Oh, so nice. Yeah, I do too. I have my red on. <laughs> I think your rotation for every week is either a Nebraska, a Chiefs, a Sporting Kansas City, a Royals. Am I missing Jayhawks. something? Oh, yeah, and the Jayhawks. So if you go back and watch all 92 episodes of these, you'll probably see a pattern here. Not when it's warm out. <laughs> yeah, then you wear the short sleeve shirts. <laughs> oh, well, this is not a fashion vlog, so oh. we're okay. Whoo! This is all about the food, and we have some fun little crackers I found at Sprouts. What I like about these, so these are called Leslie Stowe Raincoast Crisps. Uh, what I like about Rain these... Raincoast Crisps. Raincoast Crisps. I know. Raincoast Crisps. Rain Crisps. Gee, that's tough one. Crisps. Leslie, I'm just telling you right now, they look really good, but I want to change the name. It's a little hard to say. Uh, on each package, it shows what they go with. So like mm -hmm. this first one we're gonna try is a cranberry and hazelnut cracker. And they suggest that you try it with aged cheddar cheese and oh. red pepper jelly or artichoke hummus. Oh, okay. So right. I like that if we like these, well, let's I like, will- Let's try that for uh, tomorrow and Sunday. Yeah, we'll mix them. I wanted to try them plain for today just so we can get an idea of what they actually taste like. Okay. Mabel's having her yummy doggy desserts. Okay. Funky looking. They almost look like potpourri. <laughs> oh. What show did I watch? What, did I just watch a show where he eats the potpourri? Are we sure this is a potpourri that I'm eating? So this looks, yeah, it it uh, you can see everything in there: the hazelnut, the cranberry. We're gonna put these in a the bowl later on and put them out as potpourri. This is all right. Oh, it was a Friends episode where Joey eats potpourri. That's what I knew. I just saw that episode on. Boom, glad we got that. Edit that bad boy. I like it. That's not bad. I like it where actually the little cranberries in too. It reminds me of when you go to a restaurant and you eat the like bruschetta, the hard bread with or the Melba toast or whatever. Yeah, like this. That's good. I like it. I it's it's hard, flavor. but it's also soft too. It's not hard to chew. It doesn't stick in your teeth, which mm -hmm. is always good. I'm curious about aged cheddar with it. Now, the red pepper jelly I give, hummus, kind of, for that flavor. Interesting, though, but I would try it. Yeah, I really we get... We have some aged uh, cheddar. I get the cranberry flavor a lot in that. I don't get the hazelnut. I don't love hazelnut, so I'm okay with that. Well, I didn't realize I was supposed to taste hazelnut in that. Yeah, I definitely taste the cranberry. It's a good cracker, though. I liked it. Crisp. Sorry, crisp. I'm a good cracker, too. Um, next... <laughs> Oh, next up. Wow. Sorry. And there it is. Might need to edit that up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next up, fig and olive. Ooh, I love fig. Do you like fig? Mm, I kind of know what it's supposed to go with. So this one is supposed to go with, I don't even know how you say that. Chevre. Sure. It must be with our, <laughs> with our French accent <laughs> from last week. <laughs> and fig preserve and prosciutto and tapenade. Hmm. Whoa. Wow. What is this? Oh, wow. You can smell that right away. Fig and olive. Olive, yeah. It's it, the olive. That's why the tapenade would I'm go I'm not with a that. huge fan of olive. That's, it's hitting me hard, yeah. Whoa. Mm, that's a hard bite. And it's salty like an olive, too. Yeah. Whoa. Wow. I like olives. I like this one. Yeah. I almost like this one better than the previous. <clears throat> I can see you liking that better. Now, I will say, to be honest, a couple more, the olive might grow on me. Because I'm not actually eating the olive. Yeah, if you had a tapenade a big gigantic. dip, that would taste really, really good. Yeah, no. That wasn't bad. The olive, I wasn't expecting. I wasn't listening to you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And that's my life. Mm -hmm. Okay, next up. Mmm, I'm a little nervous about this one. Rosemary Raisin Pecan Cracker. <coughs> Rosemary Clooney, the actress? Pair it with creamy blue cheese, salami, and plum preserves. Hmm. Okay, while you're eating that, I do want to chat for a little bit about the macros. All of these are 
60 calories for three crackers, two grams of fat, nine carbs, two grams of protein. At the end, I will compare how that goes with our last taste test of the Keto Crisps and just regular type of crackers. So stay tuned for that. How did you like this one? Good. The rosemary is going to hit you right away. Oh, yeah. See, I love rosemary. It's just like the olive. It hits you right away. Mm -hmm. And I'll be honest, this takes me right back to Thanksgiving. Mm. Like, this should be something that we put out in Thanksgiving. 100%. Yeah. Takes you right back to the turkey, Thanksgiving, cooking, and everything. Oh, I mean, yeah. Literally, that just took me right back two months ago. That was good. Yeah, that's really good. I like that. I'm trying to think. But I will say, each one so far... Very unique flavor. Very unique flavor, but it has one thing overwhelming the other. Like, I don't taste the pecan in that at all. Or a raisin. Or, well, raisin, if you get one, yeah, it's okay. That one here, same thing. Olive overtook it. And I guess the first one, I guess I don't remember that. what that was supposed to. The cranberry, I guess, was kind of. Well, the that. cranberry, the hazelnut, we didn't really hazelnut taste in that. But yeah, but those two, olive and rosemary, over, overtook it. Ah, those are both really good. I think I like, I don't know, I'll wait till the end. I like yeah. them both. I, yeah. Actually, I like all three, but. That rosemary, it does. It's like Thanksgiving in a bite. It took me right back. Okay, last up. These are limited edition. I may have bought these last year, and we're just now getting uh, the taste test. Oh, you're my little pumpkin crisp. <laughs> oh, thank you, pumpkin. Uh, pumpkin crisp, pumpkin spice crackers. So we, these are actually 70 calories. Um, but the macros are similar. Oh, what is it with that? Again. Right away, the flavor. Because it's a pumpkin spice. That pumpkin spice just takes you. It just says pumpkin spice. It doesn't have a second flavor. Yeah. Well, we're all done. This is supposed to go with fresh goat cheese, yeah. bacon jam, and prosciutto. I could totally see that. I would love that. I kind of want that now for dinner. That's really good. I love pumpkin. Like, I love pumpkin flavor. That's okay to me. I like the others better, I think. This well, is good. It's not bad, but it's not I'm getting, like... I'm getting pumpkin bread here is what I'm getting out of it. Mm -hmm. And I really like pumpkin bread. It's like banana bread. Kind of getting that same feeling, same flavor of it. But again, this is... I don't know if I'd like all year with uh, rosemary. You know, come the holidays, boom. Come <laughs> after you know, November 1st, here we go. I'm mm -hmm. ready to attack that for... A month solid of that stuff. The olive, you know, I'm just not an olive person. If you love olives, absolutely mm -hmm. go after that. that I was, like that one. That was pretty solid. If you want to be reminded of Greece, get that right there with all the olives on it and stuff. And then the other one's fine. That's kind of your everyday, maybe. It doesn't matter when you have it. Yeah. Yeah, no, good. That wasn't bad. I think this pumpkin one, you know, there's that pumpkin dip that you make. It would probably go even really well with this pumpkin cracker. I think the only thing that would be scary is I could put it out at a party would be if people have nut allergies and stuff like that and everything. That well, I think this one's just the only one that had the nuts. The pecan. Oh, yeah, that this one. Yeah. You know, just be careful. Like, make sure you get the one that doesn't have any of that stuff. I think it would go over very, very well if, you had, if you had some sort of spread next to it, like what they're telling you to do. Yes. Have that next to it. Outstanding. Yeah, we might have to go to the grocery store and buy all these yeah, no, really. and, really, I and cheeses. Yeah, no, really. I kind of want some goat They're cheese They're really right good. Now we have all that jam. cheese. I don't think we have goat cheese here. No, but I might um, try some with it. That's really good. Yeah, that's excellent. If you're looking at calories, if you're worried about count, counting calories and counting macros. So I did the math because I know you will ask me, how do these compare to blah, blah, blah. Well, so I, that's what your audience is asking you. <laughs> so, okay, these... None of them are the same serving, so I had to do a little bit of math in calories yeah. per gram. No, they're they're different. Like this one was 15 grams for one serving. This is 30 grams for one serving. This is 42 grams. Oh, I thought you meant package size. I'm sorry. No, no, I'm talking about like per weight per calorie. Yeah, so yeah. if you break it down, how many calories per gram? The most bang for your buck will be these. These are going to be three calories per gram. So that's good. Next up would be these, four calories per gram. Then we've got 4.5 calories per gram, and then five calories per gram. So more calorie dense is gonna be the Cheez-Its. The least is these. You can always make it fit into your macros based on what you need and how you want it to fit. But if you're looking for the lowest calorie per gram, 
it's these. I think the flavor, I think these win. I liked these, oh, but I think yeah. these are better than these, don't you think? Except our teenage child will say that the goldfish and the cheese it's taste phenomenal. I can't. But this, yes, yeah, these these are really good. Leslie Stowe, if you're listening, <laughs> home run here. These are phenomenal. I'm worried about the rain coast crisp, rain coast crisp, rain coast crisp. It's tough to say, Leslie. Rain, rain crisp, love rain, this rain coast crisp. Just go go to Sprouts and look at their crackers. Yeah. That's where actually that's where you'll find both of these. Um, Someone hashtag Leslie in or, or at Cider in. Love I, her. I, I I can do that. Big fan of her. We'll send it send it on over. Leslie could be a man. Did could you be. Yeah, the EY I'm gonna go with a female, but I E could be a male. I don't know. Leslie, let us know. Okay, dokie. Next week. Cool. I think so. I made a bet on the Chiefs Bengals game. It's Super Bowl weekend, so I better have something to do around the Super Bowl. Well, we can discuss this. I made a bet for the Bengals Chiefs game. I won the bet, so my friend from Cincinnati is sending us some Cincinnati barbecue. It's going to be here Wednesday, so we could try that for our taste test. Okay. If you want, we could go get some Kansas City barbecue and compare it next to each other. We could do that. Oh, what a good that. idea. Hey. All right, looks like we got some work to do. Um, unless you can think of other Super, Super Bowl, Bowl food. It's Super Bowl. I don't know. Okay. Oh, gosh. Am I going to wear next week? Am I going to wear my Super Bowl oh, chief shirt? Or am I going to wear my dog is my Valentine shirt? Oh, man. I'm going to have to think about that. Gosh, I don't know what I'm going to go with on that either. You have a week to think. You're my so. booze shirt. <laughs> that's my that's my Halloween shirt. Uh, okay. I don't have that. Oh, I have that. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. Go out to Sprouts. Get some delicious treats and crackers. And we will be back next week.